You know, all the good teams uh, have that good, that, that terrific balance of veteran leadership and the young emerging stars. Yeah. Well, the San Diego Padres really didn't have that for a while. They, they had the veteran guys they spent money on, the Tatises, the Machados, the, the Kims, now the Bogarts. This Jackson Merrill kid could learn a lot from all these position players that the Padres have. He's special. Everybody's going, who is Jackson Merrill? 20 years old. Well, I'm going to take you back. This is Jackson Merrill in 2021. With the 27th pick of the 2021 MLB Draft, the San Diego Padres select Jackson Merrill, a shortstop from Severna Park High School in Severna Park, Maryland. The Tampa Bay Rays have the next pick. Wow, Jackson Merrill, left-handed hitting shortstop, 6'3", 195 pounds. He's the third high school position player from the state of Maryland drafted in the top five rounds in this century. Troy Stokes Jr., last one to do it in 2014. Good field to hit, according to scouts. Moves well at short. In this century. That's right. Hey, when you get that kind of talk, but look, you can see the swing was already there in high school. He, that's why he flew through the Padres system. Yes, and it talked about being a shortstop, right? He's played shortstop most of the time. But what happens with great athletes? You play short and you can be moved around. He's hit lefties, he hit righties, he flew through the system and, and had such a good appearance that they're like, we gotta figure out how to get this kid in the lineup. It's his first knock right here, big league hit right there. And then later in the game, he's gonna hit this ball off the fence that probably would have been his first major league home run. But this is something that you build on. Any great young player, let this be a key. Any great young player, when they come through the system and they get to the big leagues quick, nobody's messed with their swing. It is basically what you saw in high school, and they just got stronger mm -hmm. and got more reps. Right. They didn't sit there and go, okay, now hold your hands like this. Oh, maybe do this. It was basically leave them alone. Every great young player I've ever seen, leave Bryce Harper alone, leave Mike Trout alone, leave Ken Griffey Jr. alone, right. leave Manny Machado alone, you name it. Anybody who got to the big leagues early, it's basically leave them alone, let them play. I mean, he's only, he didn't play a lot of games in his minor league career in center field because he's been a shortstop. Yes. Do you know who he can ask about a, a defensive position transition? A guy that was in the big leagues at the same age, Manny Machado. Or a guy like Xander Bogarts, who had to play third base at the age of 19 yes. with the Boston Red Sox. Or maybe Fernando Tatis, who had to move out to right field because he was a shortstop and they yeah. wanted to keep him on the field. These young guys who were all in the big leagues at the same – he's only 20 years old. Yeah. So Just learn from to... those three guys is going to be incredible intel for him. Oh, no doubt. Uh, you're talking about on his own team. Absolutely. On his own team. And you know what was impressive about watching Tatis and Machado's interviews? These guys are like ambassadors. Yeah. You know, so they get it. Manny's been trained through Buckshow Walters, Baltimore Orioles, where they had all those young guys, and he was the youngster, and he had Adam Jones, and he had J.J. Hardy, and these guys that poured into him. And then he's embraced, I'm the older guy. Yeah, yes. I want to bring the younger people along. No you know, so you need to have that guy on your team. Look, nobody's talking about Jackson Merrill. He doesn't have to do the interviews. He's just going to have to glide right through and he'll learn from those guys. That's the beauty of, of where he's at. Padres were impressive today. They were. And, they swung and, and the bats. If he clicks center field, that's a, that's a very long lineup. Yes. San Diego Padres.